Our next guest is actor Sonequa Martin-Green. You know her, of course, as Captain Michael Burnham in the Paramount Plus series Star Trek Discovery. Her character is the first black female captain in Star Trek franchise history. And the hit show returns today for its fifth and saying eight so yes. final yeah. season. Uh, in this clip from the season premiere, Captain Burnham and the crew of the USS Discovery prepare to recover a mysterious ancient artifact. Captain. Thank you everyone for gathering so quickly. We will be taking Dr. Kovich on a classified mission and be advised, this is a red directive. We will be jumping to an uninhabited planet. Its gravitational well has turned it into a graveyard of sorts for debris of all kinds. Our target is a Romulan science vessel. Last seen 800 years ago, a Starfleet probe just found it. There's an item on board that we cannot allow to fall into the wrong hands. Scavengers in the area. <laughs> Sonequa Martin Green is here. Welcome. Hi, thank you for having Congrats. me. So good to be back, y'all. Yes. It's so good to have you back. Thank Look, you. when I first met you, it was before season one. That's right. And you were making history, as we just said, mm. in the Star Trek franchise. Mm. It's been more than five years. That's right. Talk to me about your journey from making history to yeah. where you are now in this fifth and final season. Oh my goodness! I mean, <laughs> that's 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 the very thing. Knowing that you were knowing that I was going to be making television television history to start, uh, it was overwhelming at the time, and I and it was heavy. But I, it, God really blessed me with it, and I learned so much from it. I learned so much about who I am as a as a black woman, and I learned that I don't have to fight for my value or my worth because I definitely felt that way when we first started. I still had a lot of internalized racism. Yeah, but there was uh, some pain and criticism. You, you talked about you got that. a lot of criticism. You right. talked about it at yeah, the time. Yeah, that's true. I and did. And how you navigated that? that how well, did you navigate mm. that? <laughs> Thank you for asking. I mean, at the time, I thought, okay, well, this is all about hope. Yeah. Hope is at the center of this franchise, and it's our responsibility to keep that moving forward. So people can think what they want to think, but they need to have a chance to grow. Yeah. And that's one of the things yeah. that we're going to try to showcase here is, is growth, character growth, character evolution. So I forgive you. Yes. I, I follow Jesus. I can't hold unforgiveness against anybody. I forgive you, and yes. I'll help you change your mind. Yes. And a lot of people did. Yeah, because you've gone from captain, you are still captain, but you were also executive producer. That's right. Drop the mic. That's right. <laughs> Drop that mic. Sadiqa <laughs> Martin Green. Exactly. EP. Exactly. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you very much. Yeah, that evolution happened behind the camera just as much as in front of. From mutineer to captain, in front of, and then for me, going from just the leader, number one on the call sheet, to producer to executive producer. But she's such a badass in this because number one, in the op the opening scene, you're on top of this, you know, the, the yeah. ship. Yeah. The ship. So you surfing to, it. Yeah, surfing it. You yeah. Remember your lines. You have to, the physicality of it. Yeah. You have to follow exactly, remember everything in the script, but also deliver. And there's a sense of humor there, too. Oh, thank I marveled you. at that. Thank you very That yes. means a lot coming from you. Thank no, you. Thank listen, you. For I have that. no acting ability whatsoever. So I just <laughs> said, wow. But you're, but you're hey. also a badass. I, that, well, <laughs> yeah, let's be, let's be clear. Let's be Captain right here. <laughs> but, um, no, but seriously. And so are you. Um, seriously. But thank no. you for that. Thank what you was for that, that like for you? That because the open the first episode is knockout already. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, we take it to the next level with this there one. We go. didn't know it was our final season as we were going, but you didn't we, know. No. No. no not, not even the producers. That's right. Knew that this was going to be the final season. They only know. tell them. Give us the timeline. You you finished yeah. shooting this back in 2022. We wrapped November 2022 of season five, and it was just another season. But we had gone bigger oh. than we had ever done before in terms of the special effects, the visual effects, the yes. choreography. We were doing things that didn't seem like they could be possible. Because it's watching like a movie. These, yes, yep, yep, thank you. Yep. This Extreme. cinema, watching this artistry come together was profound for me. And then after we wrapped, we uh, our, our, our showrunners, Michelle Paradise and Alex Kurtzman, fought for us to have a little bit more to tie it up. And CBS and Paramount Plus, like, graciously gave that to us. Uh -huh. So we went back because to Because they'd Toronto. already shot the finale. That's right. Oh, as if wow, there was another that. season. That's and right. then oh. Alex and Michelle were able to go back to Paramount and say, can we shoot yeah. a resolve? And they the said, we treasure the show, absolutely. And so we went back in April of 2023, and we shot a coda. So and then we, we wrapped up. Can we up, ask why, the, why the this is the final season? Yeah, that's what I want to know. Uh, 
crickets. But okay, but if it's the final season, Sydney, <laughs> can we expect perhaps a feature film? You know, oh, that would be right? amazing. That yes. would be amazing because I, again, thank you for what you said about being able to sort of uh, navigate all of these yes. things at the same time. And everybody on our show was able to do that. Everybody was juggling so many different levels and layers at the same time. It was a, it was just wonderful to witness and be a part of that with all of us. And I think for that reason and so many others, we would be willing and, and excited to, to do a film or, you know, we love these characters, we love the people, we love this story. I mean, we there's definitely a, would. There's a great line in one that says, secure the ship by any means necessary yeah. and make sure you succeed. I, I just, <laughs> you know, make sure you succeed. It's like, make sure you succeed. What do you sure do with you that? Succeed. Yeah. Exactly. As soon as you hear, make sure, yes. mm. make sure, you yes. know? It's like, in a way, that's kind of a theme for our entire series, is make sure you succeed. Is the relationship resolved with her and Book, do you think? That we want to know. It's You, you said before, it's complicated. It is. It's that's what I say all the time. I'm like, that's that old Facebook status. It's complicated. <laughs> but book. what's not complicated, you, what. you, Kenrick, your two kids, yeah. uh, you guys are wonderful. We were Thank talking you. about parenthood in the green room. Thank uh, you so much. Much love to them. Thank much you. love to you. Yeah. You're incredible you always have been and we're so happy for you continued success because yes, so once you get an executive producer title it's hard to take it back hey martin green thank yes. you so much thank you um, folks season five of star trek discovery is streaming right now on paramount plus check it out